And good day, everyone. Welcome back to Coinaholics Autonomous. My name is Todd. Today, we're here to talk about an old American cent. Today's coin, the 1922D. United States, one cent. Now, there's plenty of things to say about this coin, so let's just get straight into it. The designer of the 1922D was Dick Victor David Brenner. This coin had a diameter of 19 millimeters. This coin had a weight of 3.11 grams. It came with a plain edge. Its metal makeup was 95% copper, 5% tin and zinc. This coin was minted in Denver. Even in the lowest, shittiest grades, this coin is worth some money because it had a, an amazingly low mintage. And it was the only, uh, Denver was the only mint to mint coins, or the one cent that year, 1922. As you can see, the mintage is very low. Only 7 million. 160,000 coins. That's it. <laughs> wow. Okay, let us go to the reverse. As you can see, this is an old wheat scent on top. E pluribus unum. One cent, United States of America, down the middle, with two wheat stalks stemming from the bottom, going up the left and right hand side. Well, it wasn't easy to get my hands on one uh, because the mintage was so low. Um, the fields are in rough shape. It had a decent uh, strike on it, but now let us go to the obverse where we have a bit more to say. Now, in God we trust along the top, Liberty in the middle on the left-hand side, 1922 on the right-hand side. And if you look underneath it, you really can't tell what it is, but it is actually a D mint mark. We call it the weak D. Uh, the dies were in rough shape by the time they finished, and there were quite a few that uh, had a weak D. If you come across a 1922 that doesn't have a mint mark, well, you're in luck. Because near the end of the run, the D was not coming through. So there are a few that were made uh, for the 1922 that doesn't have a mint mark. Which typically we think of the Philadelphia mint. But in 1922, there weren't any minted out of Philadelphia. So if you happen to find one without a mint mark, well you got yourself a payday. As it is, because this coin has the weak D, uh, even in the roughest, you know, this coin's in rough shape, but even in the worst shape, it's still at a minimum of 15 to $20 coin, just because it's just over 7 million, and that's 99 years ago. Yeah. If you do happen to have a 1922, I would definitely hold on to it. Even if you can get uh, 1922 and like extra, like in fine, extra fine 20, then you, you've you got like a $500 payday, $350 to $500. In high mint state, the last one that was sold, and it wasn't even a high mint state, it was a mint state 63 back in 2003. It sold for 4,600 bucks, and that's just a 63. Back in the day, you got higher than that just in your pocket change. So, as you can see, there is still some detail here, but it's definitely got a lot of wear. The fields are also a little bit rough, but this is probably a, I don't know, three, two to $300 penny, I guess. Sorry, one cent. Very easy to say that. My apologies. 
Anyways, that's all I have to say about the 1922D Lincoln Wheat Scent. If you haven't yet, I would appreciate you liking and subscribing. Next time's coin. The 1900 Victoria Large Scent. Until next time, be safe, be smart, and enjoy your coin search. Goodbye. What? <laughs>